first things first with this vlog because i lost all my footage i really don't know what day is what and i just put everything in a sequence that looks good so what you see is not necessarily how it got but today we're just exploring the grounds we went to the taxi stand to look at the prices to take us to certain excursions we decided uh we'll go out and we'll get a local taxi instead as the prices for the hotel taxis were stupid we come here all the time so we all we already know that we already know how that goes so we decided to go to the front of the hotel and get a local taxi i advise that if you are a regular in jamaica and you have your wits about you then you should get a local taxi if you're literally a tourist then spend the money and get one from the hotel fun fact guys the palm trees are real but fake if you know what i mean there's no jelly coconuts on majority of them and fake ones are placed on some of them so yeah They just stick them in the ground and then they left them. And then they left them, yeah? They left them, yeah. In it. And then they left them, yeah? In it. In it. And then they left them, yeah? <laughs> it's dun's river day so i visit dun's river every time i come to jamaica i know there are so many other falls that are way better than dun's river so don't come for me but i think it's a must you know like a tradition so we intended to finesse them when we got there because it's expensive to get in i mean it's not expensive but compared to what somebody from jamaica would pay it's expensive so for a foreigner it's 25 us and for a jamaican it's 1000 jmd and i think 1000 jmd is about ten dollars so to go in as a foreigner as a tourist is basically double the thing about jamaica is they're gonna charge you two prices for everything one for residents and one for tourists and it's like that in most places you go especially if you're in like a tourist town like say you're on the hip strip in montego bay if you go to a restaurant they have two menus so they have one for the natives and one for the tourists back to us trying to finesse them the woman was not having it from me guys she demanded to see my id so i was just like forget it i'll pay in full because i can i'm just being extra and i'm being tear up but it doesn't matter because i just feel like 25 dollars is expensive especially when my man's paying a thousand i want to pay a thousand hello i'm somebody nice nice palm trees Not like the palm trees at Rio, but look thick. These ones actually have some little baby coconuts in here. So cute. <laughs> We're gonna have to go and get a locker now for our stuff. Watch the extortionate prices of the locker. Watch. Because in my eyes, guys, I think that they should be giving out lockers for free. If you pay to get into the falls, why the hell are you paying for a locker? Obviously, you're gonna need a locker. But they don't give lockers for free. They want you to pay for lockers. So here we are. Oh, and it says it's closed. Windows closed. Cash only. Okay, that window's open. And it is so hot. We want to like get some of us if 
there's one thing about Dunja River, you better climatize in the river water or the ocean water before you start climbing because the water is fresh. The water is fresh. So it is freezing. However, the longer you're climbing anyway, the warmer you feel. I had my tripod on me. I don't know why I bought my tripod down. So we were figuring out where to leave it and Key ended up leaving it in the nurse's office she held it for us she's so sweet and collected it back when we were done before we start I'm trying to fix up myself and organize my phone like I said before I had the waterproof case and for the most part it worked well my phone stayed in it didn't budge kept very dry but for some reason my phone would not stay recording like every time we were on the move and I done a little spot check, the phone was locked. This started to piss me off, so I just turned it off after a while and continued with my day. Because if you know Denise, you know that I will take the phone out of the waterproof uh, case and I will smash it on a rock and throw it in the water. And although I'll be cutting off my nose to spite my face, I'll be satisfied because I broke up the phone because the phone was getting one else. Speaking about climatizing before we get on the fourth, he decides to splash me and completely wet me up. Like I said before, the water was absolutely freezing and he would not let me get my leg back. That was annoying. So for the next few clips, guys, feel free to skip because I'll be taking you up the first few rocks of the falls. This is where my phone was acting mad. So I couldn't take you all the way like I intended to. I definitely need a GoPro, but yeah, just sit back relax come with me up the falls and take in the asmr I'm sick of my hair. Me and my hair can fight. I'm literally sitting here contemplating what the hell I can do to make it look better. Girls, this, although this hairstyle is popular, this is not the ultimate holiday go-to because you will be cutting out all the curly bits like I was. There's no point unless you're going to be using human hair. There's no point buying that synthetic shit because look at it. I didn't have no scissors. I didn't know what to do. Everyday moose, everyday water. Look, it ruined every outfit that I had planned. So I didn't even bother go hard and shy on anybody because my hair wasn't saying one. But anyway, at this point, I'm figuring out how to connect my camera to my laptop so I can have like a double screen. I don't actually think it worked, but I tried.
the dinner banged guys the dinner was so nice i was in the middle of eating it the um the brussels sprouts was great the carrots were great i had some beef stew then some guy opposite me opposite me as in right over there to be precise ended up vomiting all over the floor so you know that just 110 percent put me off i felt so fucking sick it was so disgusting and it put and it put me off my food sorry guys i just i thought i could smell it there <laughs> but yeah it put me off my food but yeah the food was really nice today it's not usually so nice or maybe i just pack up my plate with foolishness and then i hate everything but thank you thanks a lot thank you no no i think he wants that one thank you but yeah usually usually the food isn't so nice and i think it's because i pack up my plate with foolishness but today today the food banged Who gets that joke? Who gets that joke? tables guys the tables that you'll pay 500 pounds for when you go to the club you don't get a seat it's just these little round top tables ew i hate them let's see what's at the bar I didn't film the real fake Michael Jackson. Why, I do not know, but I managed to film the kids dancing and having a great time. The show was really good. You've probably seen it before anyway, because Michael Jackson has residency in Jamaica. <laughs> Every hotel has a Michael Jackson night. Have you noticed? it's been real this hotel is a nice time despite the reviews it's different when you're actually here i've been to rio montego bay twice but this one is definitely a better vibe tomorrow we're leaving a day early and heading to portmore so we can chill with the family so I'll see you in the next clip Sister and the entire cover glass just breaks off of your watch for no reason. 
then you don't know maybe for it to you. And then the watch is now I six S dust resistant. Not because of some new part of the did you find some Sonic? Okay. 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 Right. What's this? What's this called? Huh? What's it called again? Called again? Yeah. What's it called? What's this? What's the name? Dark blood. Dark blood. Okay. And then show me what happens when you squeeze it. Oh. Juice. And looks like what's that inside of it? Is that like pips? Pips. Pips. I tell you, so much bubble here blow my youth. So much bubble. So much bubble, my youth.